Hello friends, this is Abhishek Agarwal here and it is the fourth tutorial of the particular series where I am showing you how to use power copy and use the feature command in Gadia V5. I hope you have seen my first three videos where I have completed with the power copy command. I have also explained you how you can save a lot of time by avoiding the repetition of the same task again and again. By using a power copy command as we have seen our specification tree gets bigger and bigger and uh, it becomes really massive. To avoid this situation, we have one more tool that is user user feature command. It works in the same manner as power copy, but it will help to keep our specification tree as small as possible. Now to start with the user feature command, first we have to make a new geometrical set. So go to insert, click on geometrical set, name this geometrical set as user feature output as it will contain all the outputs from the user feature command. Make sure to define this user feature command into our work object. Now to start with the user feature command go to insert and select a user feature creation tool over here. Now again it will ask for the component which you want to replicate. So we'll be selecting a join, com join component over here and we will remove all other inputs except extract 16. Now click on OK. Now in order to instantiate the user feature command, go to knowledge template and right click on the user feature 1 and instantiate. Now it will ask you to select um, the ages over which you want to replicate your set of operations. So we'll start with this age and we'll use a repeat checkbox to make multiple to select multiple ages. So here you can see uh, all the operations right from plane creations, sphere creation, point creation, sweep, everything gets replicated for this age. Now keep on selecting ages and click on OK and it will replicate for all the ages which you will be selecting. So in that case you can see how much time you are saving by avoiding the repetition of the same stuff again and again. So this is very handy tool and apart from that you can also see it is not making your specification tree a really massive unlike power copy option. So it is keeping specification tree very compact in this manner. So make sure to select all the edges to complete with the roll cage. The user feature and power copy command are very useful as it is saving a lot of efforts and time by making a same operation for all the ages. So yes, here we can see we have completed with the all the ages. Now I will uncheck this repeat checkbox and click OK. So in this manner our roll cage is ready. I think we have missed one edge so what we're gonna do we will again go to user feature one right click on it go to instantiate and we will select the remaining object also so now the next part would be to co to convert these surfaces into a closed solid body so that we will complete with the uh, roll cage of a car to do that we have to switch our workbench and go to a part design workbench over here. Now in the part design workbench we have a closed surface tool in the surface based feature which will convert all the surfaces into a closed solid body. So what we are going to do here is that we will double click on the closed surface tool over here and we will select all the user feature operation as well as join to convert it into a solid body. So here we will start with the join command over here. So select a join and click OK. Now select user feature 1.1, 1.2 and likewise we have to select all the user feature make sure you do not miss any of these. So as we finish it, as we finish with it we will 
be completing with our roll cage of a car so I'll select all the user feature one by one very quickly Now select a last user feature 1.24 and click OK. Now to terminate the tool we have to click on cancel. So if you go to a part body you can see all the 25 closed surfaces are right here. Now what we are going to do we will select all the closed surfaces and we will put them into a new assembly so that we can hide all other operations that we have performed so far. So we will start from the surface, we will hide all the surfaces first, then we will hide all the planes, now we will also hide these 24 extracts. So here we are completed with the roll cage of a car using a power copy and user feature command. The main objective behind this particular tutorial series is to get familiar with the power copy and user feature command. I hope I have delivered my concept very well to all of you. So if you have any query doubts or clarification you need, please comment below so that I will quickly get in touch with you. You can also write to me at abhishek.832 at the rate of gmail.com. So thank you very much. Thank you for watching my tutorial. Stay tuned.